Okay, we're going to do part two of transformations of graphs. So we're going to go down to number two. We're going to compare graphs of functions. And we're in this section, we're only going to do A and B. And then the last section will be C and D. Okay, so here we are using the same graph f of x equals x. And we will show that on our Desmos calculator in a moment. If you go to the top of the page, it's the same graph that is here. Okay, that f of x equals x, it creates a positive slope going through the point of origin. Okay, so we're going to look at the first graph here, a, h of x equals one half x. Okay, and remember the m here equals your slope. So you will see that come into play as we do our next graph. Again, h of x is similar to f of x and g of x. It will be the same as we plug it into the calculator. Okay, so I'm back here at Desmos. You will see the address here at the top. And I already have my function f of x equals x in my graph here, and I will reprogram or review that in a moment. I'm going to start by adding my f of x expression. And again, even though it says h of x on my paper, I'm going to be putting f of x in my equation box. So I have h of x or f of x equals one half, whoops, yes, one half x. So I've used my parentheses, one divided by two, and then my closed parentheses. And right next to this is my x. And I've just clicked over to make sure it's in the right spot. X is right next to it. It's not being added. It's being multiplied. Okay, so I'm going to move my screen over so you can see what's going on here. And this demonstrates that your graph has stretched out a little bit. So here was your parent function, the black line here. And it has stretched towards the x-axis. Okay, so we have that horizontal stretch. It was here, and it's going closer to the horizon, a horizontal, the x-intercept. Okay, so I would, on my graph here, my original parent function will be going from here through my point of origin up here. What can I use to demonstrate that graph has been transformed, it has shrank down? It's going through 0.5, okay, halfway through, okay, about halfway through on each side. So I could just, if my parent function goes through here, I just need to make it a little bit smaller and it's going to be going through about half of that, okay? Not looking for perfection, but showing that it's getting closer to the x axis, okay? So our second function will be b, h of x equals 2x. I'm going to go back to down. Okay, so with this function, it just goes f of x equals 2x. And that has created a third function for me. So you can see the functions here. The parent function f of x equals x is this black line going through the point of origin. The blue line here is f of x or h of x equals 1 half x. It is stretching towards the x axis. The last one I just did was f of x equals 2x, or h of x equals 2x. Being multiplied, so it's getting closer to the y axis, that shrinks towards that y, okay? Going that way closer, okay? So on your equation here, you have your parent function going through 1, 
and your second function would be a little bit closer to the y-intercept, okay, or the y-axis. So that is stretches and shrinks, and that will be the end of this one. The next will be the C and D, and that will be a different transformation.